A little movement. A little Is that better, guys? A little side action. No big deal. There we go. <laughs> and let us know where you guys are from. Um, it was super exciting last week just to see everybody that logged in. We had some people from Australia, from um, all over here on Oahu. We had people from Japan. So super awesome. Seattle even. Um, so yeah, let us know, message us when you log in, let us know where you're from, and we will get started soon. Again. We got Beach Mama from Wailua. Oh yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> and your Instagram names, or they're already on there, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Couple people from Bend, Oregon, someone from oh, cool. Colorado. Yes, Colorado. Waikoloa. Very cool. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and also, since we are still just kind of getting everybody logged in, um, you do need to pull out your guys' pencil ruler. I don't know if you guys have a ruler around. It does make it easier. Or even you can use like a, a book, a piece of paper, whatever, something to make a nice straight line for you. Oh, um, wahiwa. Wahiwa. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Used to live over there. Um, so yeah, so just get your pencils, eraser, ruler out. You wanna also get a water cup, your paint brushes, a napkin for your paint brushes, eraser, a good size eraser if you tend to make a lot of mistakes. That outline's really simple, as you can tell. I posted it on my story feed too on Instagram just to show you, it's just a really simple outline. Um, you know, our main focus is gonna be the painting part. So we are gonna get started in a minute. What time is it? Two or three. Two or three. Okay. So we'll wait a couple more minutes while yeah, everyone. Canada, Brooklyn, New York. Yes! Brooklyn, New York! Yeah! So cool. Whoa. So I might move these down. <laughs> New York in the house. <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. That's all I got. It's over. <laughs> so we are going to get started, you guys. Get your little six by six canvases out. Oh, someone from Kahala is here. Awesome. Is it 205? Where is it? 205. Milani. Milani, yes. We got Lahaina. Lahaina, Maui. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Took me a second. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, you guys. So we're going to get started. Again, I'm just showing you some different samples of the paintings we have today. You don't have to follow my directions um, if you don't want to do this um, background with the, the reds and the oranges. If you want to just kind of free flow it as soon as you get your outline done, do that. Um, if you also have questions, like let's say you are changing the colors and you do want to ask questions about the colors you're using or what colors to add, please let us know. I am here. I can help with any of them. Um, just shoot us what, you know, a message. Uh, we have the team here for Coco Nene Hawaii. So I'm excited and we're going to get started. So we are going to get our pencils out, erasers, and our rulers. And we're going to get started on the outline now. So I'll have you come a little bit closer so we can kind of see this up close. So with the ruler, zero going up to the 12, on the left side of the canvas, you guys, I want you to put your ruler on the left side and mark it, let's say about two and a half inches. Make a little mark at two and a half inches. So a light mark. You're gonna put the ruler right underneath that two and a half inch mark we made and then I want you to go all the way down to four and a half inches make a line going all the way down to the four and a half inches so all we got so we we're going up on the left side two and a half and then we're going over to the right with one line at four and a half inches So now we're going to take our ruler on the top of your canvas, starting with zero on the left side. 
you're going to make a light mark over at two inches. Just a very light mark. We will erase this one after. Hold on one second. Okay. Um, I think some people need some clarification if you want to do that first part again. Yes, yes. So, um, so in the beginning, we started on the left side of the canvas with your ruler on the left. I want you to mark it over at two and a half inches. So go up. To the left two and a half inches make a light line once you go up to two and a half inches on the left side let's put the ruler right underneath that light mark that we made and then you're going to now go over all the way to four and a half inches so four and a half inches is right here so here's the four here is the four and a half And then on top, we're just gonna mark it over at two inches. So just make a light mark at the two. So I'll kind of show you guys on this sample where we're going with this. This is gonna be the um, horizon line for our sun. And then this is gonna be where we're gonna start the wave barrel. So if you can see on this sample how this looks like a heart, we're gonna get started on doing this part next. So, where we made that two inch mark, we're gonna start doing the lip of the wave. I want you guys to make kind of nice round line. Leave a little gap from the line that we made earlier. Just moving a little finger gap from there. And then I'm going to try to make a heart shape from here. Kind of looks like a bird. Sad bird. And then after you make this heart that's right here, it looks kind of like a bird. You're going to round it around to this line that we had right here. We're gonna make a nice round line. And sometimes you have to do it a few times, just play with it. Sometimes I went past the line on my other paintings. So if you don't go right at the four and a half down here, if you go a little bit past over here, just redo it and erase it. Bring the line. Oh, cute. That looks good. And then I'm going to follow this line to the edge of the canvas. And you want to round it out to the end. So. And that should be your wave barrel. This is where the lips are. This will be all the water part. And next we're gonna be doing the sun. So how's everybody doing? Let us know how you guys are doing on your beginning outline. If it's going too quick, you guys need another minute. We're gonna do the sun next. Okay, so for the sun part, if you guys don't wanna do sun, you'd rather do a moon, you can also do that as well. I usually take these paint bottles that um, I get from Walmart. This is the Apple Barrel brand again. I use this to, um, as my sun. So I do my outline for my sun using this. So choose kind of where you want your sun. I have mine peeking over the horizon. Um, if you want yours a little bit further up, like this one is a little bit of a smaller sun and we had it go above the horizon line. This one's more behind it. So up to you, you can go above, in between. Um, I'm going to place that down. So look on your canvas as it's flat down where you want your sun. I'm gonna put mine here. Where 
my son's gonna be. <laughs> Look at all those pencil lines. And it's okay if you have a lot of pencil lines, we are going to paint over all of them. If you can't erase all of them or you feel like it's still too dark, it will be covered in acrylic paint, so do not worry about it. We'll get rid of it. And that's all we need for our outline. So this is what we're gonna get started with. This should be your outline, super simple. You also wanna carry the lines around the edges. So we did the line earlier for the horizon, bring it around the edge. And then same with up here, let's bring this. So bring, follow your lines around. That's all you have to do, just those two sides. And then we're gonna start pouring the paint color now. So again, we use the brand um, Apple Barrel. It's from Walmart. It's one of my favorite cheaper brands that I could find for all of us to use and play with. It's affordable. A small tube of it is pretty cheap. I think it's 56 cents, 52 cents, something like that. Um, the bigger ones are a few more bucks, but they do last longer. And if you plan on painting at home often, um, this is a great, great deal. So I always say get the bigger ones. Um, but we will get started on pouring the pink colors right now. So you should have your outline. Again, if you don't have the same colors as what we're using today, kind of improvise, use with what you have. If you want to do more pinks, more, you can even do green in your way if it's gorgeous. Um, but we are going to be doing this really pretty. I'm going to take this one away, focusing on this. We're going to do those nice red, orange, yellow tones right now. So I'm going to start pouring. Put that there. So we have people from Sunset Beach, Y9, Pearl City, Kiowa, yes. um, Australia. Oh yeah, Australia! <laughs> so cool! Okay, so we're gonna start pouring the colors. Here is. Oh, we have Utah and Vallejo, California. Woohoo! Let us know too, like what you guys kind of want to paint next. Um, we have a few more themes lined up for the next couple weeks, but if you have any ideas mm -hmm. or something particular you want to learn, want some mountains, want something. Um, that I haven't done before, just let us know, message underneath it, and we can try to sneak one in soon. So again, when you guys are pouring your paint, you wanna pour a small amount at a time. I'm gonna just have us start off with the yellow right now. So I want you to pour yellow, some orange, and a little bit of red. So we got yellow, orange, red, a little bit of pink. They would like to know where you got your apron from. Oh, I think this was Walmart. This was at Walmart, but in like the kitchen section. They didn't have any good ones <laughs> in the paint section. So kitchen section, they got like sprinkle ones, they got pineapple ones, they got flower ones, and they're only like 15 bucks. They're really nice. They, they actually last a while. I've had this one now for like two years and it's super comfy. So these are my pink colors so far. So I got a little bit of purple, a little bit of pink, got some red, orange, and yellow. So you kind of want to start with something similar to these colors. It's okay if you don't have purple and pink. If you at least have the main um, yellow, orange, and red, those are the main colors we just need for the buildup of the sky. Let me just pour one more palette. That so make sure you also have water cups next to you and your paintbrushes. You have suggestions for rainbows, a horse, and a mermaid. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> we can do that. I like all those. A horse would be fun. Okay, yellow.
Okay, you guys, we are gonna get started on the painting parts. Okay, so with any kind of like smaller, uh, let me show you a couple of different brushes, so you know. You can use any of these three sizes are great to use. Um, any small to medium, smaller brushes. We're gonna start with the sun first, so I'm gonna fill in the sun with the yellow. Then I'm also going to paint all of the water that's right in here yellow. So we're going to make this whole section yellow, even on the sides yellow. Again, bring the paint around the edges. Pretty simple. First part is just only yellow. So add the sides with yellow. Still building up that yellow. Okay, we're gonna keep adding more yellow to around the sun. So pretty much whatever I have left on my paintbrush, I'm just rubbing it out on the sky. Bringing it around the edge. Just using whatever I have left on my brush. And it's okay if you go past the line, like like you can see here I'm painting in the water area, no big deal. You might do that a handful of times as we're building up the sky right now, but we'll paint over this part with blue eventually. So no worries if you get it past the line. Okay, so now that we added the yellow, we're going to, while the yellow is still wet, I'm going to dip it into, without um, washing my brush off, it is a water, uh, water-based acrylic, so you don't need to keep getting your brush wet. It'll kind of turn into a water um, color effect if you keep getting your brush wet, which we don't want that. We want thicker paint, we want more paint, we want a buildup of the paint. So I'm gonna bring in this orange, and then I'm gonna go underneath the sun where the horizon line's at and go across with this orange. Same with the edge. And I'm going to bring some more in orange again and do it again. And do a couple strokes in there of orange. Get on the edge. We'll bring some orange on the side. To kind of build it up in the sky too. So after we put some orange in there, I'm gonna now take the red that we have. And this, with this bright red, I'm gonna try to follow that same line that we made earlier. And bring the red down a little bit in the water.
and now I'm going to build up the red in the sky next. And again, just using what I have left on my brush. I'm going to bring in some more yellow right now. So now I'm going to bring more yellow, but I'm going to go around the sun with the yellow and pull it out into those orange and blue colors we have, or orange and red tones we have. So I'm go, see how close I'm getting to the line. Okay, so I'm going to go pull another one of these brushes, but I get a new one now. Um, you can either wash this one off, dry it really well after you're done. I'm going to just pull the same brush out. So that way it doesn't have any yellow stuck on the brush. Get another fresh one, and now I'm going to dip it into the red. So the red's a little bit more vibrant by itself. And pull in some red up here. Now I'm going to pull in some pink after the red. So if you're still building up the red, take your time. Keep adding that red up here. You want a nice strip of red a little bit above the orange. Also a good way for blending if you guys are having a hard time for blending or you don't want it to be um, as rough as, these lines are a little bit more thicker and kind of more fine, which I like the messy, quick lines everywhere. But if you want more of a blended out look like this, just the backdrop being like that, use, use your finger to blend out anything. Um, I use either a dry brush and bring it back while it's still wet the paint, and I go back and forth in the same um, motion of like wherever you're painting at. Like here, we're going horizontal. We're gonna build up the sky with more red, and we're going to go in the same stroke as what you were doing before, but bring in pink now over that red to brighten it up. So I'm bringing in that pink. I might have to do a couple layers of it. And then edge. After pink, I'm going to bring in the purple. So I'm going to finish the top with some purple. If you don't have purple, you can just uh, either add pink or just keep adding red and bring the red over to the edge right here. Like wherever I'm making the purple, bring in the red right there. If you don't have purple. If you don't have purple, yeah. I'm 
let it dry a little bit before I add another layer. Adding the purple. And sometimes we have to do a couple layers of it, but this is sitting and drying. I'll add a little bit more here. So is this something you can come back to later and keep oh, yes. building onto it if anybody's Definitely. falling behind? So if you are behind, um, this guy's kind of a, a slow build up. We're gonna just pretty much get the base down first and then we're gonna start on the wave and then we're gonna come back to the sky. Um, right now we're just, our focus is just getting the palette down. So just getting your basic colors down. It is something too, what's fun about the minis, especially if you start working on them um, after this class, you can just keep going every single day. You can add to it, add more detailing. Um, I love adding lots of layers of paint. So I'll work on one painting for two weeks and just even add up to another two to six coats of paint. Um, the bigger stuff I end up using 20 to 30 coats of paint because I love texture. Um, but yeah, definitely you guys can always continue your creative process. Um, it's never finished once our live feed is done. Um, and if you need help to or have questions, we'd love to hear feedback. You can let me know, shoot me a message. If I don't get back right away, it takes only a couple days, I'll get back to you. Um, but let's get started too now. I'm gonna pour the colors for the wave part. If you're still uh, focusing on building up your sky, there's no rush, try to just um, know we are gonna come back to it to slowly keep adding more layers to it. But right now I want us to focus on getting our palette down for the wave part. So everyone has different blues at home right now. I understand we have some lighter ones, uh, darker ones. I'm gonna go with a darker blue on this one with a little bit of the Caribbean blue color, which is a nice like teal pretty color. Um, this is what I'm just gonna fill in this wave with. It's pretty much just one flat color is all you have to do right now. Um, so choose your blue. You can either go darker or lighter. It is gonna be a buildup as well. So um, I want you to pour the color for your wave. Oh yeah, you can also find our videos on Coco Nene Hawaii. I know earlier I had posted it on my newsfeed underscore, but there's no underscore anymore. So it's just Coco Nene Hawaii. Um, you can, if you need to see a playback of the video, it will be posted on there. We will be posting it eventually on YouTube as well, but for now, um, everything will just be on Coco Nene Hawaii. So I'm gonna get started. I did pour the teal for the wave part. I want you guys to take a nice smaller size brush as well. Any of your smaller size brushes. You can use the same brush you use for the sky on the wave part. Just make sure you wash all of the red and yellow and purple, if you saw purple on there, um, off the brush before you use it. So I'm going to dip it in there nice and heavy. Get a lot on there. The canvas will sponge it up for you. So use lots. So I kind of painted through my lines. Yay. <laughs> Just kidding, but you can still see them. So it's okay, like it's not a big deal. So if you guys, like I'll have you look up close, you can still kind of see my lines through here. I'm gonna try to follow the lines I had before. Boom. And bring it back out. So keep going. And again, don't forget, we want them edges. 
get the edges over here. If it feels like speed painting, kind of is. <laughs> um, but again, we do post these videos on Coco Nene Hawaii, so you're not gonna miss anything if you don't get it right away. We will repost it so you can just go back and um, double check or catch up on any areas you're missing out on. So we just keep adding. So when you guys layer your paint as well, you kind of want to wait till the paint dries. This one is more of a water-based paint, so it's a little bit of a slower buildup. Um, unlike like Golden Medium brands, it's a thicker paint, which is great for, um, you don't have to wait so much for the drying process to keep layering it. This one, it's, it's kind of already thinned out, so you gotta let it slowly dry and then keep adding it. And the more you add, it kind of gives it more of a bold look. Um, it's really, it makes it brighter to the colors. So I'm going to let this dry a little bit. And then I'm gonna focus back on my sky after painting this all blue. Let that sit and dry a minute. So we'll wait a couple minutes so you guys can catch up and keep working on your edges and getting that teal put in for the sides for your, your wave. I'm using a paper plate to fan it. So if you have a fan at home or a blow dryer, that will speed up the process. So now I'm going to focus on building up the sky again. So I'll leave it on this easel. Okay, so for this sky, since we're going back to the sky, we're going to get this smaller size brush. So any of your um, smaller brushes in your paint cup, I want you to pull out any of the smaller brushes skinny tip and switch it out like if if some of the bristles seem like they're having a full party like they're going every direction change your brush you do not want that brush um that one's fun for like the popcorn cloud effect on the waves for the the beat up brushes i have brushes just for that um but do not do it on your nice sky right now we want the little thin brush with not too many hairs going all over the place so i'm going to take this hot pink that I have 
And if you don't have pink, that's okay. We can do it with red, but I'm gonna just keep adding more layers over what I just did. So here's some pink. I'm gonna bring some more red in. And it's okay if it gets into the blue. back in here. And then with the yellow, you guys want to wash off your brush, get all that purple and red and pinks off, and come back with the yellow. And I want you guys to kind of keep it so it looks like a straight line, like little chunks of straight lines. Just a little bit of yellow in here. I'm going to go across. Okay, now I'm going back to the red. I'm gonna bring in some more red down here where the horizon line's at. And then much brighter it gets when you do a couple layers. The colors really start to come out. I'm bringing in a little bit of pink. So these bold lines that we made that were yellow, I'm gonna just keep adding more in here.
and now I'm going to focus on the edges again. So I'm going to bring this back around. Kia Ikoa said, wow. Who? One of our guests. You make it look so easy. <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> There's always mistakes, you guys. Like, I do them every single time I paint them, so I'll show you right now. Boom! That was supposed to be all yellow, and I chose red last second because I messed up. Nice. Okay, bring that yellow back. Easy fix. And you want it to be kind of messy like that. If you notice, it's not really blended out. It has like choppy lines going all the way through. So. So that's all we're gonna do for the sky part, you guys. We're gonna let that sit and dry. So your blue should start to dry, or at least it should be dry by now. Unless you made it really heavy, thick, then good for you. But we are going to start adding. So now that we still have the yellow, orange, red, and the pink, we're going to start adding a little bit of those colors in the waves. So I'm going to start with the same small brush too. Or you can use the side one. Actually, let's go to this one. So that medium brush that you have, you can, you can have it with either a curve or if it's straight, both work. I'm going to take this one now with the yellow still on it. And let me... And I'm just gonna follow kind of where the wave's going. So I'm gonna make messy lines, but following kind of where the wave's going to break. Just keep adding that yellow. And you don't want a lot of paint on your paintbrush as well. You want kind of a little bit of the yellow. You don't want them there too thick. So again, I'm doing in the yellow. I'm gonna bring it up here. getting a little bit of that orange in there. Get some of that red in there. So with the skinnier, smaller brush, I'm gonna take it back with this teal blue that we have to kind of clean up some of the lines. Um, again, just use the skinnier brush to do that. You're gonna dip it into the teal. We're gonna... I'm gonna wait till that dries and then I'll add some more yellow right there and some red. But 
you guys can keep focusing on building up just keep adding you want the yellow to be a little bit brighter like this so you might have to do two layers of the yellow so we're going to just keep adding it up if you guys are still working on it i'm going to start pouring one more color so this is going to be a darker blue we're going to add into the wave and we're going to add a little bit up here on the top where that purple is at you don't have to add the blue if you do not want to do blue in there and you like your reds and yellows and oranges used um, but I'm gonna add just a little bit and then we can do the whitewash effect after. So I'm gonna grab Cobalt Hue, this is a nice one. Again, Apple Barrel is the brand. It's a really pretty blue. It kind of has like a little bit of a purple tone to it as well. Um, but this is gonna be the color that we're gonna use for the darker part of the wave. I know we got about 10 minutes you guys um, before the hour is up it might start to feel like extreme speed painting right now um, I'm gonna try to go as quick as I can we might have to extend it after um, but again let's just kind of keep going with the flow right now and if we need to extend it we will let you know and post another video so here is going to be the dark blue where I'm gonna add it it's I'm gonna pretty much follow where that light teal color is at and follow the wave so I'm going to move it to the side. And I'm going to add some of that dark blue in here. I'm going to add a little bit up here. Okay, so now we are going to add this whitewash part. So we'll do a little bit more yellow once this dries. I don't want to bring in the yellow right now that I use the cobalt hue. You put those two colors together, it makes a nice gross green color, which we're not going that route. Um, you can do green in there if you want, no judgment, but not for this <laughs> It's not happening. So we're going to take this. So you guys should have this in that um, brush kit that they have like a value pack from Walmart that's really great um, for good price brushes. This is gonna be one of them that's in your cups or in your paintbrush kit. Any of the brushes that kind of feel like the brush, the bristles are, I mean, the, the hair is kind of beat up and rough, it's gonna give you this really fun popcorn effect. You're not gonna do the same strokes with this brush either. It's kind of a dab stroke. So we're gonna take white paint. With the white paint, I'm gonna take this brush. You notice I'm not um, stroking the brush in the paint. I wanna just dab it in there. So the ends are nice and full of that white paint. 
And then now up here, I'm gonna just kind of follow the line that we have where the heart begins for the wave. We're gonna popcorn effect it like that. Oh. I'm gonna bring it down a little. Wash part. So you see that, like, um, let me use, let me grab one canvas so I can show you guys real fast. This one. So let's say if you don't dab it and you rather go like this, it's not going to give you the same effect. So you see, I'm like kind of stroking on it. It's just, you want to push it down like this, where it turns in kind of like a popcorn effect. like. You can still see some of the color through it. Do not stroke it. You want to poke it down and dab the canvas. And follow it down a little bit to the wave. And one of the last things we're going to do to complete this painting is we are going to add the dots right here. So to add those dots, we're going to take the back of your paintbrush. We're going to take the white paint that you have. Make sure it's nice and thick on there. And then we're gonna add some dots. There you have it, your heart wave, you guys. You can keep adding, keep building on it all week, keep playing with it, but. Yeah. So keep building it up. Again, it's on Coco Nene Hawaii. We will be posting our classes on there. The live videos will be also available on there to double check. Um, IGTV it'll be under so if you guys click that I'm gonna since we have a couple minutes left I'll show you I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow to make the yellow come out like a little bit brighter right here Again, let us know too if you guys have ideas. Send us a message, message us, let us know what you think, what you want to learn how to paint. We do have a few more classes coming up, so we're so excited for you to join us for these virtual paint sessions. And also please share your paintings with us. Tag us at Coco Nene Hawaii. Give us a tag on there. We would love to see your finished paintings, to see how your heart waves came out. Glad you guys joined us today. Thank you, thank you again. See you soon. <laughs> I love it.
consent request? Yes. <laughs> Sunset rainbows. Horses, oh, mermaids. horses, mermaids. I like it. An uh, owl and oh, then a flower. Oh, owl and a flower. Yeah. Oh, flower would be fun. <laughs> hi Oregon, surf scene, hibiscus, mountain scene. Yeah, hibiscus. Mermaids. Ooh, planet. Ooh, planets would be fun. Yeah, the moon's in the moon. That's a good idea. That would be fun for kids to do planets. Yeah. Don't forget, tag us! 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 Tag us!